Hello guys, I'm Mr. Racer and I hope you are all doing very well. In this video I want to talk about Detroit diesel engines, which are very popular in the United States, but not so much in the Europe. And I want to show my European audience something very cool. But those from the United States also may learn something new. So let's get into that. <music> Understandably, starting this list with a single-cylinder Detroit diesel, the 171, and the most two-stroke Detroit diesel engines were used in something with wheels, but not this thumper. It was used either as a generator, used for small vessels, or as a power takeoff. They were very rare. Not many were actually built, but they provide a great amount of torque, even without a turbo, thanks to that two-cycle design. They were made in about 1000 examples and weigh about a quarter of a ton. There we go. Twin cylinders were made in the 53 series and a 71 series. The 53 or 71 actually mean cubic inches per cylinder. So these twin cylinder engines actually having twice the torque of the thumper, there was a firing order similar to the Kawasaki Ninja twin cylinder engines, so 180 degrees offset pistons. The twin cylinder 53 series started in 1957 and supposedly left the production line in 1972 and was only used without a turbo. The larger 71 series easily had about twice the power of the smaller 53 series and were often used as a more powerful generator or for pumps or even as a base engine in small tractors. Three cylinders in the Detroit diesel portfolio were made in the 53 series as a lighter, high revving unit or a larger and heavier 71 series. They were often used as a tractor engine weighing from 440 to 690 kilograms. The naturally aspirated 53 series peaks out at 2800 rpm, but the 71 series is down by 700 rpm. Things get a bit more interesting with the four cylinders, also made in the 53 and 71 series. The four cylinder 53 series was actually the same displacement as a three cylinder 71, but still at least 120 kilograms lighter with more revs and also more power without a turbo. The 71 series was already somewhere else with the large displacement and also a possible 25% power increase thanks to a turbocharger before the blower. While the 453 was still a pickup truck friendly engine, the 471 was more suitable for larger trucks, like a 1950 GMC 750 or a highway grader.
okay, six cylinders were actually made in the various designs. There were the sixes and also inline engines, the 53, 71, inline 71, and actually 92 and 110 cubic inch per cylinder. Obviously, the largest being the 110, made from 1945 to 1955. The lineup of the six cylinder options range from 5.2 up to 10.8 liter, weighing up to 1800 kilograms. The 71 series was a mid-size engine, with the turbo inline 6 being as heavy as a smaller 653T, the turbocharged variant. There were various applications for these engines, like trucks, buses, to fire trucks, semis, railway vehicles, with the largest 110 series. There were some to power generators, winches, or heavy shipboard equipment. were only made in the V-shape and ranged from 7 liter through 9.3 up to 12 liter. They were mostly used for buses and trucks, occasionally even construction equipment or marine applications. Interestingly, the 71 and 92 are similar in weight and dimensions, although the 92 provides a bit more torque and 10% power extra. If you wondered, these two-stroke Detroit engines have a timing gears, not chain or belt to operate camshafts, and either with two or four valves per cylinder. V12s were also made in various series, from 53 up to 149, ranging from 10.4 up to 29.3 liters. As a huge scale of engines for any needs for any customer, they range from 400 up to 1300 horsepower using an intercooled Turbo 149 series if needed. Most of them are on-road friendly but they are also suitable for different usage, such as boats, construction or power generation. The smallest 12V53 was actually very rare, were only made in 25 examples, produced with V6 blocks bolted together and using four 353 heads. This engine was only made between 1965 to 1968. option was the first one not to be offered in the 53 series, so it starts at 71 series up to 149. The largest had 39 liters with a ridiculous amount of torque, both with and without a turbo. The V16 was rarely put into a vehicle, mostly only the 16 V71 for really big rigs, pulling heavy trailers. Other than that, the V16s were great for producing a lot of electricity in the gensets or 
enough power for larger Marine applications. <laughs> V20 engine within the Detroit diesel lineup was in the 149 series. This was the further development of the 149 series pushed to the edge as customers required more power from the V16 and instead of making more power from the V16 which was a bit difficult they decided to create the V12 from many parts. They actually combined V6 and V8 blocks into a V20 block and used 3 blowers and 6 servos. It was 49 liter engine, preferably powering hull trucks and vessels. <laughs> a Detroit diesel ever had were 24 and it was also a very rare unit mostly used for marine applications it was a very rare sight and not many people actually know about it it was designed as a naturally aspirated and also a turbocharged engine peaking with 1550 horsepower these engines were the best example of the interchangeability inside the Detroit diesel engine lineup as the V24 actually used 671 series heads, actually four of them. <laughs> like these two-stroke Detroit diesel engines so I really wanted to place all of them in one video. I really hope you liked it and if you want to see more such videos subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you again and see you in the next one. Cheers!